Well, it's obvious we're looking at a Bentley, I know that much. David Smith is the owner of this fine car. David, tell me more about the vehicle. It's a three and a half litre Derby Bentley built by Rolls-Royce in 1934. It was bodied by James Young, which is quite a rarity. He only ever made 16 Derby Bentley bodies. Um, and we've you... had it for 24 or 5 years and it's been a really enjoyable experience all the way through. And David was telling me just before we started filming the car is the same age as he is. Mm, yes, uh, we're both 80 this year. <laughs> <laughs> Which one would you say is better looking? Oh, this one. <laughs> It gets much more TLC than I do. <laughs> Can we have a look under the bonnet? I mean, what sort of power do we have in this car? Uh, well, it's very adequate and it will still do 70 miles an hour quite happily on the motorway. Sorry. You keep it so clean. Uh, well, yes, if you've got to work on it, you don't want to get covered in muck. What uh, uh, miles per gallon do you get with a vehicle like this? 20. Yeah, well, that's not bad going, is it? Yeah, no, it's... I mean, you couldn't get that if you drove it into the middle of Bristol. Yeah. But normally, you'll get about 20 to the gallon. And uh, there's not much plastic in the interior, is there? This is leather. There's no plastic. It's all leather and wood. Uh, you had the honour of taking this to Le Mans just recently. Not recently, no. When they launched the Arnage, which is now 12 or 13 years ago, we were approached by Bentley Motors and asked if we would help launch the Arnage. And the car went up. We took the car over there. They had 50 brand new Arnage in a row and they brought them, would you believe, they brought them down there in containers. And we, um, our job was to take the customers around the track and show them what a 70 years and what a 70 year old car would do. That must have been quite an experience for you. It was, but the interesting thing was almost every customer that got in the car and we drove around the track said, Oh, you brought them down in those containers. I said, no, the new ones came in the containers. The old ones had to get themselves there. Well, yes. you did very well, and it's a lovely looking car. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. David Smith there uh, from Salford, just outside Bath. Uh, we're going to go and talk to a couple of sisters now who live in Bristol. And they are uh, looking after this wonderful Morris Minor estate car, which certainly takes me back. I had several minis. I never actually had uh, an estate. Chad, this is your vehicle, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, a quick, quick recap on the history of this car. Um, my husband had it about at least nine years ago and restored it, and I've been driving it ever since. Now, he's sadly no longer with us, but you're no, still enjoying sorry. riding around in the vehicle. That car gets used every single day. That's and terrific. It really is a lovely motor. And she's a, she's a Roger Whittaker fan, because I, I, noticed, <laughs> I noticed the CD in the dashboard. But if you turn the engine on, you'll hear him playing. <laughs> we, we go along listening to Roger Whittaker, singing along with Roger Whittaker. That's Maureen, that's Ched's sister. Do you want to to open the bonnet and have a look underneath? Uh, do, you want to, do you want to look under the bonnet? Well, Let's have a look under the bonnet. So, uh, you will have to undo the bonnet, I don't know. You don't know how to do it? I don't know how to undo this up, bonnet. Up she goes. Okay. Uh, oh, it, it, it always sticks when you don't want it to, no, doesn't it? There we go. There we go. No. Look at that now, little we, Morris. We might be able to work on that one, but not some of these other. It's, that's a, it's looking very clean, I have to say. I now, haven't actually cleaned it. Well, you're keeping it very well. You've always had minis in your family. I learned to drive in a mini in 1971. That's taken us back, Chad. I Girls, too far. <laughs> <laughs> it's a credit to you both. Thank you very much indeed. Well, thank you very much. No, it's a pleasure. And there are too many beautiful cars around here. Well, you're doing my job for me because that's what okay. I was going to say, folks. <laughs> Come on over to look at the cars. Every sort of car here, old cars, new cars, every sort of car, and they've all got stories, and they're all being very well looked after by wonderful characters like Ched and Maureen and, and David Smith.